Hello everyone, Executo here. Please enjoy this video. Leave a like below, comment, subscribe, follow my Instagram and Facebook. Get aesthetic, bra. Hey guys, Executo here on another how-to video on how to build your shoulders and get those round delts. Today guys, I'm going to be showing you three parts to hit on your shoulders because there are three muscle groups. There's the front delt, side delt, and rear delt. I'm going to show you three different exercises to hit them and two exercises you could do to hit all three of them at once. So first off guys, I'm going to show you how to hit the whole shoulder. Today, I only have one dumbbell, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it with one dumbbell, but normally you'd be doing it with two dumbbells or even a barbell. So we're going to start off with the shoulder military press. You're going to bring the weight up, you're going to press up, and slowly go down, press up, get that negative, slowly go down. The reason why it hits your whole shoulder, guys, because it hits every single muscle group. It hits the front delt and side delt when you push up, and it hits the rear delt when you go down. Now I'm gonna show you again a couple reps to show you guys different types of form you could use and different ways you could do it. For beginners out there, I'm gonna show you how to do the 90 degree way. So first off, you're gonna bring the weight up, you're gonna go 90 degrees right where your elbow is, and then you're gonna push up. You're gonna go slowly down 90 degrees, push up. You guys can see here, 90 degree angle. What this is going to do is put less strain on your shoulder and allow you to push the weight to work that front delt, side delt, and rear delt. The second exercise I'm going to show you guys today is what Arnold used when he was exercising as a bodybuilder. So what he did is he brought the weight up like this, get that full stretch on that front delt, went up and rotated it up like this. So he went from here to 180, all the way up, slowly down. So what allowed it to do is to stretch that muscle and squeeze at the top, get that lateral delt, rear delt, and front delt. Now that y'all warmed up guys, let's hit those individual muscle groups. Some people start off with the front delt or rear delt, not necessarily a lateral delt, which is the side delt, because when you use your front delt, you do use it for many exercises, same with your rear delt. So whatever you guys feel comfortable doing, do what you please. Today I'm going to start off with the front delt. Okay guys, there's many different ways you can hit this muscle, I'm going to show you two ways for beginners to hit this muscle. First exercise guys, you're going to be using two dumbbells, for now I only have one dumbbell and I have cable. I'm going to show you guys how to do it with cable as well, but that's mostly for the burn. Most people use it with dumbbells. I'm going to show you guys how to do it with one dumbbell and you start off exactly like this, chest out, shoulders relax, you push up. That's one and that's two. You're going to be using light weight, going at high reps to really get that muscle to burn. The second exercise guys is pretty much the same movement. You're just turning your wrist up towards the ceiling. So it's pretty much like I did with other videos, you turn your pinky towards the ceiling. It's kind of the same thing. So you go like this, you can put it towards your chest more, you hit your upper chest. You can go out more, you adjust your shoulder. There's many different ways you can hit it, guys. This is just one way, and you use dumbbells, barbells, all that good stuff. I'm going to show you guys quickly how to do it with cable, so you guys can know how to do it when you use your dumbbells. So you're going to go straight up like this. Hit that front delt. You can turn it outward like this. You could rotate it inward one at a time. It allows you to hit more of that upper chest. You can go outward, hit more of that front delt. And there's many different ways you could do it guys. This movement I'm going to be showing you guys later, which is actually more focused on the lateral delt. That being said guys, let's start off with the lateral delt, the side delt, what many people call it. And you're going to be doing lots of movements where it's literally just like this, right? So I'll show you guys from the side. And I'm going to show you ways you can hit that muscle and really individualize it from the other two. First off guys, I'm going to show you how to do it without weight. So mainly a lot of people just go straight up and down. That's a really good movement. It does put strain on the elbow at times, so don't go too, too heavy. If you want to go heavier, what you're going to have to do is do 90 degrees as well. Bend your elbow a bit like this and go up. You could go a little bit bent over and go up. It's going to allow you to go heavier and put more emphasis on the shoulder. But if you want to get definition, not necessarily size in your shoulders, you're going to be doing more straight, lots of reps, drop sets, supersets, all that stuff, you know, and it's going to allow it to burn and stand out more. And I'm going to show you a couple movements of how that can be done to hit that lateral delt and to really make it pop out and get those wide shoulders that a lot of people are looking for. So for instance, if you want to focus more on your rear delt as well when you do this, you can turn your pinky towards the ceiling, not necessarily actually pointing towards the ceiling, but turn your hand that goes up and towards the ceiling. So I'm going to show you guys a couple reps here. So you go up towards the ceiling, slowly down. Up towards the ceiling, slowly down. Don't be swinging all over the place. Up towards the ceiling, slowly down. A lot of people, what they do, they bring it all the way up to their ears because a lot of people don't even, even know that you should bring it towards your ears because if you bring it too low, there's not enough squeeze in that muscle to allow it to pop out like you would with your biceps, right? You just turn to this side, you go straight up, and you go down. You turn your pinky towards the ceiling, allowing for full muscle contraction to work that rear delt as well, just like this. Slowly down, 
and burst up. Try not to move too much in your core like I just said guys because that allow that muscle not to work as well so you would want to get lighter weight if that's the case. For my favorite muscle of the shoulder to work is the rear delt. It's going to allow you guys to get more fuller muscles in your shoulder, allow it to look bigger and a lot more rounder. First off, I'm going to show you guys how to do this exercise without weight. So you can be putting your wrist in many different ways. You can start off like this, then you can go off like this. I'm going to show you first off how to do it like this, guys. So you go straight down, you get in a fixed motion with your elbows and your arms and everything. So you get, you get your hips outward, get your lower back in a fixed motion, same with your arms, and you just go straight up, squeeze at the top, go down. Now I'm going to turn my wrist like this, guys, straight up and slowly down. Straight up and slowly down. It's exactly the same ways as doing lateral raises. Let me show you guys how to do it with weight now and so you guys can see the difference between weight and normal. So this is actually a little bit heavier than what I would normally use. This is about a 30 pound, roughly 25, 30 pound, pound dumbbell. And I'm gonna be using it to show you guys how to do it with weight. So I'm gonna start off showing you guys from the side, then from the front, because from the side you can see a better view of the shoulder working. So we're gonna go down like this. I'm gonna start off like this, then I'm gonna turn like this. So, let's do one set of 10. Okay, one. Okay, let's move the chair. Two, three, four. Now, I'm gonna turn my wrist like this, guys. And you'll see it works the muscle differently. I'll just do three reps, okay? So you're gonna start off like this, go up, squeeze, squeeze, and squeeze. So guys, you're always gonna be squeezing when you're hitting all your parts of your shoulder. It's gonna allow it to look a lot rounder, and the fact that you're squeezing will allow it to grow and make it pop out like you would with your biceps. Okay guys, so this is the how-to video on how to build your shoulders, make them a lot more round and really get that size in them that a lot of people are looking for. If you enjoy these how-to videos, leave comments below, share this video, leave a like, all that great stuff. Once again, guys, leave a like below, crop subscribe, and get aesthetic.